Hey everyone, I'm back to share an updated review of my Jinko jeans. When I found out they returned back in 2015, I knew I had to get a few pairs, and now I just want to show you their durability over the years. I wanted to start by showing my most worn jeans first so you can see just how durable their jeans have become over time. These first few pairs of pants were actually from their 2019 launch. By this point, the company had already made a few changes to their fabrics. I've had both these blue jeans for four years. I wore them about twice a week until recently, and because I wore them to work, I washed them after every use. So both pairs were washed on hot with extra rinse cycles approximately 300 times each. Um, I will also show you how to deal with extra fray later. These black pants are also around four years old and were also worn for work. Uh, it is much easier to tell that there's some fading when it comes to black jeans versus blue jeans, but that happens with black jean fabric regardless of brand. Uh, my last job did require the use of heavy chemicals, so there may be more fading in my jeans than usual, but they are still very comfortable and probably one of my favorite styles when I need something simple for work. Plus, I love the art on both pairs. Uh, these particular jeans were both worn about two times a week for four years, and they were washed with hot water and a double rinse, just under 300 times each. Uh, this next pair didn't exactly fit right. I assumed they were always worn high, so I figured they just became high-rise pants somehow through over-drying. Please ignore the wrinkles, they've been folded up for a few months. Uh, turns out I had three pairs of this particular style, and I decided to try on another pair to see if there was any difference, but they had the exact same problem, too tight and a little too high. By the third pair, I realized that I might have just gained weight, and even though most of my jeans are a size 30, this particular style seems to run a little small, and if I wanted another pair, I would need to order just one size up on the waist, and the inseam would probably go back down. These were all washed in hot water, without a double rinse, about 300 times. Now these little beauties are probably my favorite style so far. I decided to buy a couple pairs with different lengths for different occasions and boot sizes, and this particular pair was used mostly for hiking and outdoor activities, and it has a 30 inch inseam. And I'm 5'8 for height reference. Uh, they've only been worn about 200 times, but I didn't wash them every time. They were washed in cold water with a double rinse, and they still look great. Uh, if you really want your pants to keep their pigment longer, they do come with instructions that warn against using a dryer, and that is why I want to show you these. These are my 32 inch inseam pants that I only wear out on special occasions. When I have a feeling I'm gonna be somewhere where they might be noticed, I wanna make sure people are only going to see the best. This particular pair has been washed around 50 times on cold, without a double rinse and absolutely no dryer. This next pair has been treated similarly. They weren't meant for work, so I chose to only wear them on weekends when I'm running errands, and they've probably gotten the most compliments and have one of the most recognizable logos among older fans of the brand. Uh, they were washed in cold water, but they did go through the dryer, and that really seems to make a difference in color if you want to preserve your jeans. Now while recording, I realized I did order a new pair of Twin Cannon jeans, just one size up from the ones that no longer fit, and I was right, they fit perfectly, but I did have to slow this footage down because I was so excited when I found them that I kind of spazzed out. Ooh, wait, these are probably my favorite Jinkos. I have honestly worn these more than any other pair of Jinkos I own. Having worn them at least twice a week for four years, it's fair to say I washed these pants over 300 times, maybe even 350. Uh, the different materials will always behave differently, and as much as I love this fabric, there's something about it that causes the pockets to develop these annoying little holes that I will eventually have to patch up if I don't want them getting bigger. But if you can remember all the way back in 2017 when I bought my first batch of Jinkos from their first line in 2015, the quality wasn't quite there in terms of durability, and my first pair of camo pants were made out of a much more delicate material. And I'm an outdoors kid, so they never stood a chance with me anyway. Um, I have declared these as my painter's pants. Now, I was very tempted to cut the pant legs off at the knee and make them into shorts, but thankfully, Jinkos makes shorts too. 
Now, I'm not quite sure how many times I've worn them, but they make great swim trunks, to be honest. Now, these blue jeans were also from the old manufacturers, but ever since Jinko moved their product to Mexico, I think their jeans have vastly improved. Now, this particular pair was also from the old line, and even though they're definitely the most nostalgic purchase I've made, I've only worn them twice. Still, I think it's great that the brand incorporates a lot of different styles and accommodates edgier looks while providing older fans with sleek, modern designs. Now these are the black Camilla jeans, and I have a reason to believe these jeans were designed by the daughter of Milo Riva under his tutelage. And if I'm right, I think it's wonderful that they intend to keep this brand alive and within the family. I cannot begin to express how comfortable these pants are, but it did take me a moment to figure out what size I should order. The second pair is also part of the Camilla line, and unfortunately only one size was available when I ordered, so the inseam is a bit long. Even with my massive boots, they drag on the floor a bit more than I'd like. I love both these pairs so much that I would hate to ruin them, so when I get a chance, I intend to get them tailored to a more custom fit. And I'm willing to bet that once the brand gets enough funding through the support of their fans, making custom-sized Jinko jeans should become a very real possibility in the future. By the way, this pattern is amazing up close, and even though I've yet to wear them out anywhere special, I know that when I do, they will get a lot of compliments. But with the lack of logo, no one will know that they're Jinkos until I explain it to them, which is a real shame. Ooh, this last pair is also amazing, but I made the mistake of only ordering one pair. I usually have this tendency to buy two pairs of colored sensitive clothes, but foolishly, I only ordered one. I decided I wanted to keep one pair fresh and white and put some of my own art on another, but by the time I checked the website to get a second pair, they were already gone. So keep in mind, when you see a style you love, if you don't grab them, someone else will, and you'll have to live the rest of your life knowing that someone else is wearing your pants. <laughs> That's a little When Harry Met Sally reference for my real 90s kids. Now, if you were worried about the fray that happens when you prefer your pants a little baggy, no worries, I got you. And if you think it looks unsightly, just order a shorter inseam for yourself. But anyone who remembers the 90s remembers that only the real cool kids were active enough to earn the fray. Screeching weasels. <laughs> The technique is super simple, just make sure you aren't cutting into any horizontal strings that are still connected at both ends unless they're actually hanging lower than the hem. You don't want to cut upwards into the good fibers, just tease down the fray with your fingers and trim it as straight across as possible without cutting too much of the vertical fibers that make up the hem. Now this next step is optional, and if you are concerned about your pants staining your shoes or anything else your pants might come in contact with, by all means skip this step. But I do it all the time, much like Julia Roberts does with her hooker boots in Pretty Woman. <laughs> I know it looks really patchy, but trust me, you don't want to fully cover all the faded parts. This helps it look like a more natural wear and tear. And no one will ever know the true age of your jeans. One style I haven't tried yet is their extra thick corduroy pants, and I'm curious to see how that particular fabric behaves because they look ridiculously comfortable. But I would not have a clue how to trim them tastefully, so I might have to order a shorter inseam on just that one pair. But just the one! Thank you guys again so much for your support and watching these Jinko reviews. It is a brand that matters so much to me. I usually hate jeans so much. If you don't know about that rant, go check out my first Jinko's review. I had no idea how many people would like my first Jinko's review, and I'm just glad to know that I'm not the only one who is relieved to see this brand come back. I love my jeans, and people are constantly recognizing them. And to be honest, these jeans are so iconic, they do their own advertising, and they look great on everyone. There have been some ups and downs in their history, but I think the integrity is what makes the Jinko brand so great. They listen to their customers, and they always want to give a quality product. So if you have any questions, comments, or requests, put them in the comment section below, or I can try to include them in another Jinko Jean review, and I'm pretty sure that they see these videos. So it is up to us to help them build their business and maintain their status. 
They've improved their quality and lowered the price as people have come back to support the brand. So if you got yourself a pair, remember two pairs can be twice as nice. Uh, the Jingo website also offers discounts and holiday sales if you keep up with their inventory. And still, some of their best designs get bought up instantly, even at a higher price, and I end up missing out. Thanks again for all the support, and I will see you in the next one.